Patent Office. I don't want a dog on me. Well, that's the problem. <laughs> they got a sense of humor, but we need better. They got a whole bunch of young kids in there, trained them the way they wanted, claimed it was a matter of the pension retirement fund. They didn't hire any senior officers, all young JV guys. They train them the way they want them to do yeah. what they want. They more like, yeah. you know, more like chained dogs than executive field officers, actually. So we need people like you to visit them. Well, I mean, here at Dartmouth, we're, we're not wanting to ruffle any feathers. We're not yeah. wanting to be pushy. But we do need to know who's on our campus. It's really important that we understand it's a big day here. Yeah. So what form of identification do you have? Well, I have my passport. I have to show it to get into Saudi Arabia. Yeah. I have to show it to go other places. Canada wouldn't let me in. They wouldn't? No. I have an identity theft in Modesto, California, and I have DLSD 25 from when memory? I was a kid. What did you think of my memory? I'm trying to let you smile to make you feel good about it. Do you mind if I write your name down? Uh, please do. Visit my website while you're at it, dcdelegate.com. The reason these guys are coming here now is because I said I wanted to come to Dartmouth for the New Hampshire primaries, and so Hillary and Bill and John McCain all came up here that year. Had they been coming prior to that? Not much. Not much. Not much. So now it's pretty regular? Well, I don't know. New Hampshire. You know, well, they New come Hampshire. Every, every term. So before John and Hillary, oh, oh, the absolutely. candidates were coming to Dartmouth? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I might oh, yeah. be wrong yeah. then. Yeah. No, they've, they've, they've come every, every time there's, there's uh, people running. We so, always host debates here. Yeah. Since I've like, been here 27 years, and every time there's a debate, we host it. Every time there's a debate, you host it here. So I'm wrong then. It wasn't because of my suggestion. At least one of the many. You know, not every one of them's held here, but, you know, they, we always get one. No, I didn't know. Yeah, no, I thought I was the only one who wanted to come to an out-of-the-way intellectual place in the middle of New Hampshire. It starts in New Hampshire. Yeah, and I thought they would go to Concord and yeah. Manchester and where the population centers were to get the yeah. votes. Well, Mr. Hale, yeah. where are you living at now? Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. The dogs wasn't enough to scare you away. Um, I have a website called goodcopstest.com. Mm -hmm. I try to work with them. It's like having three jobs. I try to do my own job. I'm unofficial mentor for the U.S. Capitol Police. They need more love. And I have the Islamic job that I do. So yep. I have three different jobs. Yep. Well, Mr. Hale... Uh, do you have a ticket for the venue today? Not yet. You're I, working on it. Right. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but when, when the time comes to, like, us, no. like, come into this venue, yeah. don't be surprised if the police want to check you out. I would think they will, should. Okay. okay. As far as I'm concerned, yeah. you're all set. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah. And showing me your ID. Okay. I'd prefer we had scientific I'm supervisor here. Yeah. I just checked. You're not in the lottery. You did not get get a ticket for the event tonight. And if people don't claim tickets, the ones that are left over might be lotteried off at 6 p.m. by the restaurant, and I hope to win then. Yeah. Well, that that's that's a chance you got to take, but not right now. Right. What, 6 p.m. Another four hours. That's why I have all the batteries. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're all set, I guess. Yep. We need to move Except on. we yeah. we got to get the electrical department, the metal detectors, and the chemistry department. Uh, what they're doing in D.C. is the guy lets his dog go up and touch people with the nose of the He's dog. He's coming. He's coming. Not right this second, but yeah. he'll be here. It should be six feet away. You should never touch another human being with your dog, even if you're a police officer. It's, uh, I'm totally aware of that. I don't know anything about it. I just about got arrested on the 4th of July because this guy let his dog touch a baby carriage with the nose, and I really got angry. I cursed him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Hale, okay. while you're here these next few hours, yeah. I'd appreciate it if you didn't like interrupt our students. No, no, disturbance. right. If there's any kind of disturbance that right. revolves around you, right. it's going to be more serious. Right. And we've got a thing called a letter of trespass. Uh-huh. And I would have to issue you one yet. Good. You put it in writing? We put it in writing. That's better than and Harvard we, did. And we explain it. Good. And we have witnesses to it. I would like to learn more about that so Harvard could adopt the same policy. They're so pompous, they just give a verbal warning and expect you to leave their campus. No, sir, we'll give you a map of the campus, explain where... You're allowed and we're not allowed. Hallelujah. But you don't want to see it. 
because huh? you're pretty much out of the town of Hanover once you see it. Would you send a copy over to Captain to, McCall sir. at the Harvard University Police? I, I'm not allowed to. No, I'll ask her to call you then? You, you can, speak can to, ask her. Yep, okay. Can call? Speak to our director. It's a okay. very well put out. Hallelujah. Report. Dartmouth. Hallelujah. And explains what the requirements are. Hallelujah. Dartmouth. They okay. came and a real Harvard cop wrote a ticket for a car and put it under the windshield wiper as I was leaving to show me they were disgusted at the way that those guys had behaved yeah. also. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Hale? Uh, okay. Okay, bouquet, hooray, what remains to be seen one day, peace on earth. Appreciate it, Mr. Hale. God willing, I, should I ask your name to be professional? Officer Teddy Willie. Teddy Willie? Yep. Officer Teddy Willie. Yep. I think I remember that. I remember you. Ask your supervisor if his cell phone battery to. ran out. I'm going to. Thank you, Officer Teddy yep. Willie. I'll see you. God willing, I hope. Officer Teddy Willie, what a nice guy. Uh, hi there, how you doing? What's happening? Episcopal marriages, Jerry Garcia, how good morning is what they say. Ain't no extra fat on you, sir, looking trim and fit. How are you? I had the worst case of a stomach virus yesterday you ever heard. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. Well, I swear to God. What are you doing here? Responding and seeking responses. I have a website, dcdelegate.com, and uh, this is a continuation of that. What's the purpose of the website? Uh, a more perfect union, establish justice, pr promote domestic tranquility. As we just witnessed here, a potentially explosive situation was defused quite peacefully. Provide for the common defense. What happened? Um, Officer Teddy Willie was called to the scene along with his uh, co-officers and uh, he remembered me from uh, when Hillary Clinton was here but he wanted to see ID and we talked about Moses and Moses. thou shalt not worship any graven or engraven images or put them before God. And so you're a religious person. Science and religion were brought up as not being so unsimilar by uh, Richard or James Richard Perry here uh, on the Washington Post yesterday and then there was a cosmology article in the New York Times about universe fountain bubbles and the DTL theory of void is it? So uh, religious they had a cartoon about a guy he every Saturday he religiously mows the lawn wearing the Pope's hat <laughs> Listen, keep up the good work. Yeah, religious means regular, I think. Regular. So I guess I'm not religious. Science is uh, religious in a sense that you regularly test your hypothesis in a certain way. I guess that's my religion, science. The sun is always up there until it's not up there. And God is the 100% independence, the ultimate control or vari that we compare the variables to. God is the 100% independence, the ultimate control to which we compare the dependencies or lesser variables. 
So that's where does the sun fit into all this. Where does the sun fit into all this? Uh, God is 100% able to stand alone and or 100% able to stand with. The sun is able to stand with about 50% or stand alone about 50%. 100 divided by 100 is 1. 50 divided by 50 is 1. Miniature ratio of the God in the sun. Uh, other things are like 3070 maybe or 1090. But only two of them are so similar. Unless That's a very interesting thing. Have to perfect. I would find a conclusion, sir. I will think about it. Thank you, sir. What a lot of words from me. Sister to sister to brother. Prayers are due, prayers. Okay. I probably should use the bathroom. Are you having a good debate preparation? Bye, y'all. 